Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. In recent Emmerdale scenes, Belle Dingle, Eden Taylor Draper, fought back against abuser Tom King, James Chase, letting her wrath run wild. When Tom lost it and broke the urn holding Lisa Dingle's ashes at Marlon Dingle's, Mark Charnack, birthday celebration, Belle was horrified. Belle made the decision to walk home and spend the night in the spare room after he angrily warned her to keep away from his car because she was now coated in ashes and muck. Tom gave Belly a hard time the next morning, calling the urn's destruction an accident and accusing her of changing the narrative to fit her victim mentality. Belle told Tom she didn't have time for this chat before work, which caused Tom walk out in an angry manner. Tom had been dwelling on how the situation had made him feel the entire time, completely ignoring Belle's feelings. She questioned him about his behavior later and said that she was distraught over her mother's ashes. However, Tom once again played the victim by claiming that he had also recently lost his mother. As their disagreement grew more heated, Belle finally yelled that she detested Tom and then hurried off to work. Mandy Dingle and Susie Merton, Lisa Riley and Martell Edinburgh sensed that something wasn't right in the salon, and soon Belle was telling them about the fight but omitting important information regarding Tom's actions. After the two women recommended that she take the day off to talk to her husband, Belle returned to the veterinarian, where Tom gave her a cold reception. Twisting the narrative once further, he disclosed that he had reserved a hotel room for the evening, claiming that Belle had requested privacy. When Tom was putting his bags outside, Belle urged him to stay, even though he was sure he was leaving. At that point, Tom seemed to give in and consent to cancel the reservation, but viewers quickly realized he had been lying to her. Rather than dialing the hotel he had purportedly reserved, he proceeded to dial his own voicemail and feigned a conversation with the receptionist. At that moment, he revealed that they would be retaining his deposit, which only served to increase Bella's sense of guilt. In recent Emmerdale scenes, killer Amit Sharma, Ino Gautam, has been up to no good, trying to scam Eric Pollard, Chris Chattel, out of a sizable sum of money. Amit extended an invitation to Eric to participate in a new business opportunity because he was eager to seize Eric's wealth. Rodney Blackstock, Patrick Mower, feeling suspicious, cautioned Eric to proceed with caution. Eric investigated Amit's idea further and discovered that he was lying. Feeling positive that Amit was trying to con Eric, he and Rodney joined forces and made the decision to use their criminal backgrounds to gather evidence against Emmett to present to the authorities. Eric and Rodney exhausted all of their resources trying to recall how they had gotten away with every transgression they had done, but they were still at a loss as to how to bring Emmett to justice. An Erwiging Vinnie Dingle, Bradley Johnson, interrupted Rodney when he advised Eric Telemet he's changed his mind about getting into company and used the distraction to swipe his phone. He warned that their ideas would undoubtedly land them in serious difficulties, before indicating that their endeavor would benefit from his own experience. Vinny cautioned them against taking a chance on someone like Amit as Eric laid them their strategy to pursue him. But after rushing to the shop and seeing Amit questioning Jacob Gallagher, Joe Warren Plant, about Eric's intentions for their company, he quickly had a change of heart. Amit was shocked to learn that Eric had decided against investing, and he hurried away, nervous. Vinny became suspicious of this and soon after returned to Eric and Rodney, promising to assist them. Ella Forster, Paula Lane, of Emmerdale kept stoking rumors last night that she was connected to the deranged killer Mina Jutla, Paige Sandu. When the doctor's surgery receptionist initially appeared on the ITV serial earlier this year, she befriended Don Taylor, Olivia Bromley, and Mandy Dingle, Lisa Riley. In the wool pack, she solidified her reputation as a sweetie by standing up for the latter, 
who was being made fun of by Bear Wolf, Joshua Richards, for nursing. She has since clashed with Manpreet Sharma, Rebecca Sarker, and flirted with Liam Kavanagh, Johnny McPherson, as they bonded over a love of houseplants. Since her alleged rivalry with Manpreet is presently simmering beneath the surface, some fans are wondering if she moved to the village of the same name for a different reason. After all, there is always a hidden goal in Emmerdale. No one shows up there just to be pleasant. Her relationship to Manpreet's villainous sister Mina, who killed Liam's daughter Lena, Mimi Slinger, Andrea Tate, Anna Nightingale, and Ben Tucker, Simon Lennon, causing chaos for the locals, has been questioned by some fans. Before relocating to the Dales, she had also killed two individuals. Ella's fascination with the moment she kept Dawn and her husband Billy Fletcher, Jay Consul, at gunpoint atop a viaduct on their wedding day, set forth rumors about her intentions. The topic of conversation started when word spread throughout the community of James Chase and Eden Taylor Draper's, Tom and Bell King, tragic wedding. Liam asked his friend Kane Dingle, Jeff Hordley, about relationships at work last night, March 21. When Liam replied that Ella wasn't a psycho, Kane advised him to accept it. However, this spontaneous remark has again erupted into a fan frenzy on X slash Twitter, with many believing that Kane was tempting fate with his remarks. There are rumors that Ella is Mina's buddy and that she is seeking retribution against Liam. Despite the fact that we have seen more of Ella on screen, I believe Paula Lane is a fantastic addition to Emmerdale. Is this a true statement? One user inquired. Is she not associated with the evil Mina? Another person made a comment. She seems cunning. I believe she is seeking revenge on Mina's behalf. One viewer chirped in. Others, meanwhile, hoped that the infamous serial killer would show up again to stop Tom abusing Belle. Following their children's diagnosis, Emmerdale stars Laura Norton and Mark Jordan, best known for their roles as Daz Spencer and Carrie Wyatt on the ITV soap opera, respectively, have been quite candid about their experience with Usher syndrome. Son Jesse, age 3, and daughter Ronnie, age 1, of Mark and Laura have been diagnosed with Usher syndrome, an uncommon and terminal genetic disorder that impairs hearing, vision, and occasionally balance. After the news broke, Mark and Laura received a request to become patrons from the charity Cure Usher, whose goal is to increase public awareness of Usher syndrome and directly support research to help find a cure. It wasn't an easy choice, as they admit in this exclusive interview with Metro.co.uk, but Mark and Laura have flourished since taking on the part and have just launched a new movie titled The Touchable Memory. Using technology developed by Cambridge Engineering, the film follows Laura Whittaker, who has Usher syndrome, and her sister Hannah Stroud as they encounter a memory for the first time in the same way. Mark Laura and C.U.R.E. Usher want to use this movie to spread the word about this illness, which is thought to afflict 400,000 individuals globally, and to generate money to support the search for a solution. Mark and Laura's Emmerdale co-stars, who are as fervent about the subject, have showered them with support since the release of The Touchable Memory earlier this week. In our conversation, Mark and Laura talked about the filmmaking process, their aspirations for the future, and how much this support meant to them. Could you briefly describe Usher Syndrome and how you came to know about it? Laura, it is an uncommon genetic disorder affecting balance, hearing, and vision. Discovering the cause of our firstborn's hearing loss has been a continuous effort from the child's birth. We discovered via a genetic test that he had Usher syndrome, which meant he would have hearing loss as he grew older and eventually lose his vision. Then there is Ronnie, who will be exactly the same as him because she has the same illness. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.